I commented on this guy's video yesterday where he said that he went to the doctor and he got his testosterone checked because he was always really tired and it came back in the 200s, okay? So I commented and I was like, no wonder you feel tired. That's very low. And then I said, an optimal range for an athletic male of your age, you could be from like 900 to 1200 and you would feel amazing. The optimal range is actually a bit closer to 750-ish nanograms per deciliter as this is where you start hitting the 90th percentile for all healthy adult men. And this takes into account genetics, androgen sensitivity, etc. However, it's much more nuanced than just a blanket range for total testosterone as we have to take into account free testosterone, which is a marker that actually matters. So based on the fact that 2% seems to be the optimal percentage for free testosterone, this would be 15 nanograms per deciliter for a man at 750 nanograms per deciliter. Even if somebody was lower for total testosterone, say 650 nanograms per deciliter, but their free was at 2.3%, then they would still be considered in an optimal range for free testosterone. Once you start hitting 1000 plus for total, you typically start running to other issues such as high SHBG and or reduced androgen sensitivity. Also, somebody told her you wouldn't feel any difference between 600 and 900 for total, and this couldn't be further from the truth, assuming that free also increased. I personally went from 494 to 1000 plus naturally, and the difference was night and day.